Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your November 13th, 2023 New Moon reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, so thank you so very much for doing so. If you're interested in entering to receive a free reading from me, put a turkey in the comment box. A person will be chosen at random, and I will be announcing the the person to receive this reading in a separate video. So keep your eyes open for that. I will not be contacting you in the comment box, so just be aware of that. Don't be scammed. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. And if you're interested in a private reading, a private personalized meditation, or healing, check out my website, daneharttarot.com, also listed in the description box below. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Okay, can you see all of that? I hope so. So we're crowned with the reversed High Priestess. We then have the reversed Nine of Wands. We have the Ace of Coins, which is a gift that God, Source, Spirit, however you see the Divine, the Universe, is handing just for us because we are represented by the coins in the Minor Arcana. We then have the Moon coming through right here, also representing Pisces energy, time frame, February 19th to March 20th. But the Pisces energy, or the moon energy is coming in and showing us that this moon is going to be intense. Whether you, you want it to be or not, Capricorn, it's going to be intense. The two of swords is reversed. We then have the knight of cups reversed. This, this new moon is 20 degrees in Scorpio. So that coming through with the knight reversed can make us feel like this new moon isn't having us move forward the way that we wanted to or the way that we had envisioned. We can feel a little bit stuck, a little bit kind of frustrated in one area of our lives or another, but it's very emotional. The feeling is is just very emotional. And then we have the hangman reversed. We're seeing things differently or we're starting to ask ourselves, did I see it the right way? Like, did I understand it? Like, what is exactly going on here? What do I want? Where am I headed? You know, what do I desire? For myself, we're, we're looking at things and we're really questioning us, Capricorn. Now, should we be questioning us? Well, a bit. Yeah, always. We should always be questioning and seeking and looking. But there, there's almost a sense here of maybe I got it all wrong. But maybe you didn't. So let's not be so harsh on ourselves, Capricorn. It's not an all or nothing type of time. Let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides. And here we have abundance. We are moving towards abundance, whether we realize it or not. Even if we're hitting a bit of a hiccup in our lives or in our road right now, it's okay. We are blessed with abundance. We are an abundant sign, Capricorn. Ruled by Saturn, astoundingly pragmatic, astoundingly like grounded, down to earth, looking at things from many different aspects. But know that you yourself are prosperous. So when you're questioning things, just just say to 
say to yourself, I am a prosperous being. I am made to live in abundance. It is time for abundance. It's a time for overabundance. It brings us then to our energy to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. It's the moon. So be mindful that this moon is intense. And that's what spirit showed us in the heart of this reading, right? This is going to be an intense time. It can be a time where we can see ourselves getting a little bit more angry at things than we wanted to, or being a little bit more fearful about things than we wanted to. And so knowing here that this time brings forward those really like primal emotions within us of, of fear and uncertainty, which we can deal with or, or process within ourselves with either being afraid and holding back or being angry because we don't like being afraid. So knowing that about this time is going to be very important. But also knowing about the new moon, a time where the eyes are closed, right? We're looking inward. This is a time of setting our intentions. This moon brings us towards our truest desires and really challenges us to embrace our truest desires. It brings us to new starts and new beginnings and growth and, and potential and the opening up of the horizons. So we look at the moon and here it's saying when the abyss opens up or when the greatness opens up to us, will we be afraid of it or will we be exhilarated by it? The duality of our emotions is also going to come forward during this time so we can feel like overwhelmed. We can feel questioning. We can be looking at things and thinking, how do I move forward here? And where is it that I want to be? And what is it that I need for me? The high priestess comes into play, right? Crowning this whole entire reading. And the high priestess is reversed. So this is the veil being lifted from our eyes. Do we want the veil to be lifted from our eyes? No, not really. We can be feeling actually very uncomfortable with the, the way our body is interpreting the energy vibrations of this world. So just being aware of that. And that makes perfect sense, okay? We are going to be moon sensitive during this time. We can see it in the cards. The moon comes through twice. And those are the only, you know, tarot cards that are here. So it comes through in, in both decks. But what we see here with the high priestess is that this is a tumultuous time in our world, feeling and connecting and being. It can be very overwhelming and it could just be something we kind of want to shut down to. So be aware of this. The high priestess, we're in Scorpio time period, right? We're in a Scorpio new moon. Spirit is talking to us. And the high priestess is the connection with that talking from our angels, from our spirit guides, from the way that we need to move forward for ourselves. But we can find it very overwhelming. So being aware and saying to spirit, hey, you know what? I need things simplified. <laughs> like, like for a very small child, actually, like for an adult, right? Because small children connect with spirit a lot more easily. Here, it's like, pretend I don't know. Pretend that this is very overwhelming. And how would you deal with that? Right? So tell spirit, I need things to be simplified. I need things to be broken down a little bit because we're finding it harder to connect. And that's okay. That really is okay because what we're going to be doing here with the high priestess, and I always think of the high priestess as the Oracle of Delphi, right? The Oracle of Delphi, everybody came from all over the ancient world to hear her, to hear her prophecies and then spent their whole lives figuring it out because it was rhymes and riddles. And isn't that our life? You know, we spent our whole life figuring out our soul's purpose, why we're here and what we're here for. So being aware of that and, and being aware that it can just feel like a lot and that's okay. It brings us to the nine of wands and the nine of wands reverse is we're coming out of a cage. For one reason or another, Capricorn, we felt imprisoned, we felt not empowered and it really made us, us question, how do I move forward? Like, where do I need to be? What is my prosperity? What is my bounty? What am I? So asking these questions is, is a big deal, but also starting to feel the bars fall away, starting to feel the chains fall away, starting to feel that we can move forward and that we have a right to. That's super important. And it brings us to the Ace of Pentacles. Again, God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe is handing us a gift of prosperity, success, bounty, abundance, it's wealth. And we're planting seeds of wealth. We're planting seeds you know, not only for now, but for the next generations, we're, we're looking at a bigger picture. But also with the Ace of Pentacles, it's entering into a new prosperous, you know, chapter of our lives. We have that abundance coming in. It's time for abundance. It's time for overabundance. 
And as we move forward in that energy and in that self, we start to see things coming together. But again, it's planting the seeds. And with that, I always think of the, the oak tree, that its roots grow first. And so an oak tree, from the surface, when you're looking at it, it looks like it takes forever to grow. And in our eyes, it does. Because first, it's growing the roots. And then it's growing what you can see. So know here that first, spirit has been growing the roots for us. And then we're growing what can be seen. But we're having a little bit almost of like a questioning, uh, a, a questioning of faith, a questioning of, of purpose, a questioning of what we desire. So just know that that comes during this time. So if we're sitting here feeling like everything I work for is a joke or, you know, I thought I was heading in this direction and I'm heading in a completely opposite direction and I don't like it. Know that that's part of this time to really give voice to what has been holding us back, making us feel caged and then releasing it. That is going to be so powerful. Because the moon comes in and the moon sees us. You know, the moon sees us in a way that's open and honest and raw. And the moon sees us in our quiet moments, in the time where, you know, we don't even want to see ourselves at times because it's, it's too real. It's too here. So with the, with the moon coming forward, you know, a representative also of Pisces energy, we have the two fish. The duality of emotion is also coming forward during this time, understanding that understanding the duality of what we love and what we want and where we want to be and how we want to move forward. And our emotions can be pulling us in one direction and in another. And it feels like I'm always going to be like fighting these two polar opposite ways of being. And the moon is saying here, no, close your eyes, turn in, turn inward. Look at your potential. Look at what you desire. You might not see any potential right now, but if you calm it down and slow it down, you will. There's too much noise. There's just too much noise. You need silence. It brings us to the two of swords reversed. This is being a little bit too rigid, okay? We've always seen it one way or the other. It's black and white. White page, black print, spelt out, nice and neat, should be in a nice like sans font, right? Type of thing. And Spirit is saying here, life has a myriad of grays to it. It's the paths that we never thought about, that we can wind up walking and truly enjoying. Don't be so rigid with yourself. With the Knight of Cups, this moon, again, Scorpio, new moon, can be making us feel very overwhelmed. Our emotions can be taking over. We can also find that we have a lot of emotional people in our lives. And it's like, I don't know how to handle this. I don't know how to deal this with this. It's, it's too much. So being aware of this is going to be a very important thing. With the two of, well, not the two of, but with the Knight of Cups reverse, is that emotions just feel like they're just running all over the place. They're being all wiggly niggly. And it's like, okay, this is too much. So being aware, strong Pisces energy as well, where there's a sense of wanting to move forward in a certain way, but having to come to terms with the duality of things. Again, not being so strict with yourself because the rigidity is actually holding you back. The rigidity is like, oh, well, I have to do it just like this. And then you're going to find yourself just mindlessly scrolling through your phone and, and not getting done what you really want to. Hangman reversed, you're looking at things differently. And you can be questioning a lot of everything. And, and that's cool. But here, it's like, okay, we're going to go back, right? The hangman can pull himself up, but he's going to fall back down into the uncomfortable position to look at things with openness and honesty and, and a seeking of wisdom. Because wisdom isn't found easily. It's always, it's always something very kind of nobly or, you know, unintentionally, but painfully achieved. So I'm not trying, like, I don't want you to think that this is anything bad. This is actually a really good reading. And it's a really beautiful reading, but it's an honest one where it's saying, hey, you know what, Capricorn, you might feel raw and emotional. You might feel like you have all this possibility right before you, but you don't know where to start. You don't know how to plant it down. You don't know how to move things forward. Your truest desires are coming out. And here, there's almost a sense of like, but it could be easier. We can follow an easier path. And it's like, yeah, you could. But what is your soul's desire? And what are you truly looking for? Let's see what the moon has to say for herself. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Oh. 
angels, and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Guide this reading. And show me clearly. See how far this takes us. Oh, wow. It was perfect. Look at that. Okay. So here we have growth. We are growing and we are starting to see things more spiritually. And remember, Scorpio time frame, <clears throat> excuse me, is a time where the veil between the worlds is the thinnest. And here it says, look at the bigger picture. And that's reversed. We're not looking at the bigger picture. We can get, and the cards have shown us with the two of swords reverse, right? We can get very myopic. It has to be this way. And spirit's saying, look at the bigger picture. The growth is there, right? We're, we're working on the intricate, you know, root work. The growth is there. How are we growing? How are we evolving? It might be painful. It might be not painful, but like uncomfortable or a little bit sad, a little bit questioning. You might find you have a bit of blue days and it's like, okay, where's the sorrow coming from? Like, where is this frustration coming from? Because you're purging it from your body. You're moving forward more for you than ever before. And it brings us to this energy is gaining momentum. And that's reverse. We feel stuck and stagnant. We are hungering for something, right? Something is driving us forward. But we need to know what we're hungering for. It's that freedom. It's, it's breaking the bars and the barriers. It's letting ourselves move forward with openness and honesty and tenacity of self. But there's a hunger that's driving us. And we're ignoring that hunger. We're, we're dulling that hunger. Or we're trying to fill it in ways that seem logical in our modern world. And that's cool. You know, that's one way of doing it. But Spirit is saying here, what is your soul, your true desire hungering for? As long as you're coming from a place of love, compassion, kindness, respect, let yourself move forward in that hunger because it will keep on driving you no matter what. It will keep on coming up. And when we're out of alignment with it, that's when we can feel sad and overwhelmed and just like, you know, drowned by the world. So here, look at what you're hungering for. The energy is gaining momentum. No, it feels like it's stagnating. But if we embrace our hunger and we say, this is what I'm striving for, not my obsession, but this is what I'm striving for. This is what I want. We keep that hunger in check, but we always keep it moving us forward. Then we become like sled dogs, right? We become like, you know, that, that donkey with the carrot in front of it. We're always moving towards our, our goal. But I see it more as sled dogs. Like we're moving with this tremendous speed and we know that there's this beautiful meal at the end. So it's a time to give rather than take comes into play. Now, I also kept on getting strong Virgo energy while I was shuffling the cards earlier. So just an acknowledgement of that is going to be important because this is the new moon in Virgo. A time to give rather than take is reverse. No, this is a time to take. This is a time to heal. This is a time to take in the energy. In Spring Forest Qigong, they say you cannot fill a cup unless you yourself have a gallon. And it's something to know here. You cannot fill yourself up. You know, you cannot fill everybody else up if you don't fill yourself up. And you can't fill yourself up if you're always focusing on everybody else. There's a resilience here. There's a power to you, a tenacity, a brilliance, a fire. You've been crushed down before. People have tried to stop you. Now you have the Ace of Pentacles. There's a blessing spoken over you. Time to take in the energy and move yourself forward. It brings us to don't let pride get in your way. Balance is reversed. Okay, with this moon, we can go in one extreme or, or the other. You know, Pisces energy, the two fish, kind of very much like Gemini energy with the twins. We can find ourselves being pulled in different directions, you know, different ways forward, questioning, seeking. Don't let pride get in the way. Don't let the expectations of others or what others thought, demanded, you know, expected from you get in the way of your balance, your peace, your beauty, your desire in life. This moon is going to show a lot. It is. It's going to show a lot openly, honestly, powerfully. It's time to take action. Is reversed. Sometimes, and we're going to feel that way, right? We're going to feel like it's time to take action. It's time to go after this. It's time. It's reversed. Spirit is actually saying, you know what? Sometimes the greatest thing you can possibly do for yourself is stand still. And we're coming to that realization. We're also coming to the realization that we are key, that we hold a heck of a lot more power, a heck of a lot more prosperity, a heck of a lot more than we ever realized we did. And it brings us to show the world the real you reversed. We're afraid. We're afraid to show the world the real us. We're afraid to embrace peace because what does that look like and what does that mean? As we move forward with our heart, 
not having our heart rule the show, but moving forward with our heart. Spirit says, what is your peace? And Spirit also says, do not be afraid to be who you truly are. Because there's a fear here, Capricorn. There's a fear of if I embrace the real me, right? I'll see too much. I'll go too deep. I'll feel too much. The cards end and the moon ends with her story. Be bold and make the first move and trust. Trust that it's okay. Trust that there's a different way of seeing things. Trust that you are on the right path. You know, evaluate everything. Connect with yourself. Close your eyes. This is not a moon to be in the middle of the spotlight. This is a moon where you close your eyes and you feel. This is a time where your ears will crave silence. Take that energy and be molded by it. There's so much chaos in our world. And that's great. But there's so much sorrow as well. And that's not great. Here, trust that you are protected. Trust the moon is guiding you. And be bold and make the first move forward towards your happiness, towards your success, and towards yourself. It brings us to our subconscious energy from spirit, and that's celestial. You are much more affected by the stars and the moon and the solar flares and flares, there we go, and everything than you realize, Capricorn. And it's not logical. You're going to think, and you're going to be a little bit resilient to it or resistant to it because it's like, well, it's not logical, right? It doesn't make sense that I'll be affected by the moon or by the, the stars being in this position. I want it to be logical. Once upon a time, in ancient society, it was logical. We are still animals, as highly unpopular as that is to say about us human beings. We are still animals. We are affected by the natural world, and we live in the natural world. And that's important to know. It brings us to our subconscious energy to be mindful of. And it's Sir Nunus. This is the devil reversed, right? We're represented by the devil in the major arcana, which I always think is rude for Capricorn for you guys. But uh, I mean, it does make sense. You're so in tune with the world as it is. And that is a beautiful thing. You're also really good at like whacking off chaos, like keeping it at bay, you know, making things orderly, making things beautiful. That's your thing. Ruled by Saturn, it's, it's spectacular. And the devil is simply a conglomerate of chaos gods, of nature gods. And so here, it makes sense. Sir Nunus is the natural, natural reaction of things, right? It's consequence to actions. Here, be mindful, Capricorn. Be mindful of getting in your own way. Be mindful of overthinking, overanalyzing. But also be mindful that there are consequences to our actions. And we can live with either the understanding of that and express our beauty and our you know, power in our world quite, quite lovingly. Or we can be afraid of what consequences are to come. So spirit is just saying, don't be, don't live in fear. Don't do that. Our subconscious tarot message is the tower. We are going to see something fall apart. And we're feeling that. Now, with the world and its ways, right? We can feel something shifting, falling, changing. It can be deeply affecting us. The tower is undeniable change. And so here, Know that subconsciously, you are going through a time of undeniable change. It doesn't have to be big. People don't have to look at it and get it. Just know that it deeply affects your soul and yourself. And that's all that matters. So subconsciously, respect the change you're going through. Our subconscious Luna message is don't let your past hold you back. And that's reversed. And it's protection. So we are letting our past hold us back. It's having a huge weight on us. But knowing that we are protected and knowing that we are guided forward and even knowing, Capricorn, that we are more blessed than we realize. All right. All right, Capricorn. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this moon 
and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Capricorn. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. And have a blessed moon. Bye.